Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Relay G10 wireless guitar system. Things you must know before you have a coronary, okay? Not my first rodeo. Had one of these units before. B-stock, no big deal to me. That's still brand new. Um, and uh, got it home, plugged it in, everything worked perfect. Why I got rid of it, can't remember exactly. But I did nonetheless. And now I'm in a new dilemma where my boss wireless started to actually screw up at church for trying to get it to bind properly and lock on. So not a happy camper. <laughs> um, but I, I, it's because somebody nearby has something that's interfering with it. We know we do have ham radio operators around and, uh, but there's just more and more Wi-Fi stuff even going up in Poisson because now we have Bell Fiber Optics, right? Which has Wi-Fi boxes as part of that connection. So I'm thinking that's probably what's screwing with my boss system. Uh, too much garbage in the airwaves, I'm telling you. So anyway, I bought another UHF system off Amazon that was supposed to be really good, according to YouTube and the reviews. Turned out I got a bum system, so it never saw my channel. There is an upgraded version from that, though, that um, will actually cooperate with acoustic guitars, but also is much more solid or better quality belt, etc. A couple bucks more. And I'll order it when I get more money because right now I'm flat broke after buying this system. So yeah, I got to take it easy for a bit. Um, but this system I know works fine at home. It would work fine at church. Hopefully it still does work fine at church. Otherwise I'll be very disappointed. Um, but um, it does seem to be stable at home, which is good. We'll find out, uh, well not this Sunday, but next Sunday I play again at church. Um, we have a different team up this time and um, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I got this one home, plugged it in and it didn't just work right away. I had a flashing red halo. I figured, well, maybe the battery was dead in the transmitter, which can happen from sitting there for who knows how long, right? Uh, they don't hold a charge forever. So anyway, three hours later, still a flashing red halo on the receiver box. All right, we need to investigate this because I'm about to go nuts. Um, so I ended up doing a Google search about this because the manual wasn't really that helpful. And I downloaded the manual on top of that. So I was like, this wasn't really helpful for my problem. Turned out these are used firmware updates for transmitter and receiver. I'm like, are you serious? I don't even have to do firmware, firmware updates on my SSD drives. Mind you, there are SSDs out there that do require them. Mine just don't. But anyways, so I'd never heard of even firmware updates on SSDs until recently. But apparently, this gear also has firmware updates. And it's like, this is stupid, but whatever. Um, so I did the first major update because I figured, well, you do the newest one on the list. Well, you're going to have to do both or it ain't going to fix your problem. So, and there is a sequence in order in which you, well, not necessarily in order. It doesn't matter which one you do first, but it does matter how, the fact that the process in doing them. You have to install the program, plug in the unit, it'll find your unit, it'll flip up the updates specific to yours uh, piece of gear. Line 6 does have a lot of hardware, by the way, that they sell that does require firmware updates, turns out. Um, anyways, so it puts it in the list. So you don't have to download the files separately for the firmware because it ain't gonna help you, okay? I found that out too. It had a boo-boo. Yeah, you think? Anyway, so I did the, the one on top first. Did not fix the problem. So I figured, well, all right, let's go back to their video because they have a video. So you have to unplug the unit after you do the first update. You plug it back in. You relaunch the program. Then you do the other update. But, of course, I was stupid, and I just kind of redid the same update twice in a row, and it took it. So, yeah, I didn't fix the problem. Do the other update down below, too. Once I did that, no more flashing red halo. Because that halo should only flash if your battery has less than 30 minutes. I wasn't even getting a charge to the battery anyways, because even that light didn't go blinky-blinky, red-green or otherwise. So, but after doing both updates and doing them correctly, like I said, it doesn't matter which order, as long as you get them both in there. Um, and the transmitter must be plugged into the unit to do it, by the way. So just remember that. So anyways, after all that was said and done, no more flashing red halo. And now the transmitter's all of a sudden taking a charge. I'm like, okay, something did not get done right at the factory. Okay, because 
you should be able to just take it home, plug it in, it works. I can see if you're, you're having some other kind of an issue, you would need the firmware update because um, this is USB. So I'm assuming these things can be used as a USB interface. I don't see why not. But uh, I didn't read that far into the manual yet. So, you know, I, I don't care about that stuff. I, I just plug my gear direct into my board. So to me, it doesn't matter. But anyway, I, I still got more reading to do on the unit. But this is getting it to be operational is what this video is about, okay? I will check it out as a USB interface, though, for you guys and let you know. But in the meantime, um, if you do experience these problems, um, maybe it's a different problem, but you will likely need firmware updates. Somebody just didn't even program this thing even out of the factory, so I don't know what happened. But now, of course, we have a white halo that's solid. Now, when the transmitter is plugged in and that halo is solid, it does say that you are connected, of course, obviously. You're also on a clean channel, so a glitch-free channel in the 2.4 gigahertz band. And um, so hopefully we don't have any problems at church, but it does auto find as soon as you plug the transmitter in, it does auto find the cleanest within the 2.4 gigahertz band. So this thing definitely has a, a big thing over top of the boss systems because they have 14 channels and you plug it in and you know it'll sync up and that doesn't mean it's a clean channel all the time. I found that out before. I had to rebind again. Um, but I only went through five rebinds at practice and I gave up and said, screw it, I'll just do something different for Sunday. So anyway, um, but now we have a solid white, we have a solid green light, it's fully charged. I tested it at 5.30 this morning when I got up and I've got audio going through my amp now, everything's fine. And so I plugged it back in and left it on the charger because you might as well, it's not gonna hurt anything anyways, it's fully charged. Um, besides, I would anyhow because things naturally lose a charge when they're off the charger anyway. But, um, so, that all works peachy cream. They are definitely great units. Highly recommend these if you like Line 6 stuff. I am starting to like some Line 6 stuff. I still won't give you a nickel for their amps though. But, uh, these wireless systems, they do work quite well. And I had this running before when I had one before. I did take it to church and it worked absolutely hiccup free. I just found it a big inconvenience having the base, the power supply, the cable, where my boss unit is two battery powered pieces. I charge them at home, I take them there, one goes into my DI box, the other into my guitar, and when I go, I'm happy. And yes, these do work with acoustic electric guitars just fine. I don't know about active pickups, I don't have a guitar with one, so I don't know about that. But they probably do, okay? Um, but um, yeah, otherwise, that's what you need to know. Um, if you do have any other questions, let me know. And I will let you guys know if you can also use this as a direct USB interface. I'm pretty sure you can, but I will test that for you. Um, and I'll do a video about it. And uh, cause I'm pretty sure it should, it should work. It's just USB in either way. So it's kind of like, wow, it should work as an interface. Um, but I, I generally have my gear set up that I just plug everything into my mixer. It goes into my USB interface for my computer and that's how I do stuff in here because I need more control over stuff, okay? But um, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. That covers it. Um, like I said, questions go into the comments down below. Um, and don't be afraid to buy B-Stock. They're fine. They're, they are brand new. Uh, it's just their B-Stock. It could have an imperfection or in this case, no imperfections. Somebody didn't even load any damn software in it at the factory. So it's like, oh, great. Um, hey, stuff can happen, but at least we solved it. Now you don't have to have the coronary that I almost did. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. See ya.